Hey, what's up y'all, it's Charlie. On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make my delicious Southern deep fried salmon. Now all this is, we take a salmon filet and we cut it into large strips. We take the strips, we season them, we marinate them, and we coat them with a seasoned egg, all-purpose flour, and cornmeal batter. And from there, it is fried in hot oil. This recipe calls for you to fry about eight pieces of salmon. Now, the salmon pieces are pretty big. They're pretty large, so it's probably good to serve about four to eight people, about two per serving, if you wanna serve four people and just one for about eight people. It's absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your deep fried salmon. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need two pounds of salmon, and along with that, you're gonna need some yellow cornmeal, all-purpose flour, large eggs at room temperature, two large lemons at room temperature, canola oil, and for your seasonings, you will need some salt, black pepper, Tony Saturated Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Pudhomme Seafood Magic. If you don't have that, you can use the uh, Black and Red Fish Magic. And you will also need some onion powder and garlic powder. And for your tools, you'll need a medium-sized four-quart pot. If you don't have this, you can use a regular deep fryer. you also need a cooling rack and a mesh strainer. And there we have it. Alrighty, let's get straight to it. So here I have a, a salmon filet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a knife and I'm just going to cut the salmon in the strips, so to speak. So you can make them any size of, that you want. Okay. All right, now I'm going to add these salmon fillets into a strainer. And I'm going to rinse them off with cold water. Now, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. Totally up to you. All right, now I transferred my salmon fillet pieces into this large bowl. I'm going to just add some seasoning. I'm going to sprinkle about one and one half teaspoons of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. And about one and one half teaspoons of the Chef Pulpidome's Seafood Magic. And if you don't have that, you can use the Red Fish Magic. I'm going to add a little bit of Zatarain's Creole Mustard in there. Add about a little drop, maybe about two teaspoons of that in there. Don't tell nobody. And here I have a mesh strainer. I'm going to just take a half of a lemon and I'm going to just squeeze that in there. If you don't want the lemon in there, you don't have to add it in there. It's just a part of the marinade. And I'm gonna just take my hands and I'm gonna just coat those seasonings onto the fish. Now you're gonna cover this and place this into your refrigerator for about four hours or you can let it marinate overnight. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, so in this medium sized pot, I'm gonna go ahead and add 48 fluid ounces of canola oil. You can also use vegetable oil or any other type of oil of your choosing. It don't have to be canola oil. Now, if you have a deep fryer, you're gonna go ahead and preheat it to 350 degrees. Let the oil get hot until it has a temperature between 350 to 375 degrees. So let's get started with the egg batter first. All right, so in this medium sized bowl, I added four large eggs at room temperature. And to that, I'm gonna add about one fourth to a half a teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. And one fourth or a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Seafood Magic. Just add a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. All right, now let's bring in our container for our dry ingredients. Here I have a large um, container. Make sure that you have a lid to go on top. Add one and one half cups of yellow cornmeal, one and one half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, two to three teaspoons of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one and one half teaspoons of Chef Paul Perdome's Seafood Magic. And if not, you could use the Red Fish Magic. Two teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. 
and a half to one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. You can also adjust the seasonings as needed. If you think it's too much, add less seasoning. If you think it's too little, you can add more seasoning. All right, y'all, the oil is ready. You wanna make sure that the oil has a temperature of 350 to 375 degrees. All right, now before you get started with frying your fish, make sure you have your cooling rack with a pan underneath it ready. So that way when the fish is finished from frying, we're gonna place it on this so that we can cool off. All right, we have everything ready before we fry our fish. Now I wanna let y'all know that I took my salmon out of the refrigerator and I let it sit out for about two hours so that way it can come to room temperature. Don't think it makes sense to really add ice cold salmon into hot oil. So now I'm gonna take these salmon filet pieces and I'm gonna just add them into the egg mixture. And I'm gonna just coat the salmon filet pieces with the egg mixture. Now you wanna do at least about two at a time because salmon is pretty big here. So you don't wanna do too many at once. And from there you take your salmon filet pieces, shake it off because you don't want too much of a thick batter on there. You just want a thin coating of the egg mixture. You can just add that into your seasoned all-purpose and cornmeal batter. Now I'm gonna just cover this. I'm gonna shake the container to coat the salmon with the seasoned all-purpose and cornmeal batter. And there we go, it's nice and coated. Now you wanna give it a shake to remove some of the um, dry batter off of there. And from there, you're gonna take your salmon filet pieces and add them into the hot oil. Now frying times vary depending on the size of the fish, your pot or your deep fryer, and the temperature of the oil. That's all going to play a role in the frying time for your fish. Now I'm going to let this fry for about 5 to 7 minutes. Alrighty, it's been about 5 to 7 minutes now. Turn your fire off. And I let my fish fry for about a total of 7 minutes. Now I'm going to take the fried salmon and I'm going to place it onto a cooling rack with a pan underneath it to catch the drippings. Let this cool for about 5 to 10 minutes before serving. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Deep fried salmon made by a New Orleans native. Ah. Now it's time to go ahead and take a bite. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Mm. Man, oh man, I gotta tell y'all, this is so good. It's juicy. It has a nice little crunch on the outside. Well seasoned. I mean, y'all, absolutely delicious. So, get a recipe a try. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Now I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this fabulous, homemade southern deep fried salmon recipe you can go to www.charliecookandrews.com i'm also on facebook instagram and on twitter under the name charlie the cook andrews so until next time take care and i hope you all have a great day peace